Do you know why cows produce milk? And um, for us. You know, baby cow. <laughs> no, it's for us to, to drink tea. So we shouldn't put animals in slaughterhouses because... They, well... Don't give a damn what you think of me. I'm on a mission to fuck up the industry. Open these cages, these animals innocent. If I said to you, under the animal rights banner, mm. would you include fish? So what are you going to eat? Well, start with that first no, question. No, no. You don't think we should include fish in under the animal rights blanket? No, because what are we going to eat? Why should we not include fish? Because if you're going to take away the the pigs and the, the um, and other animals, right? what's going to be left for us to eat? Interesting that you brought in the other animals and then yeah. said take them away. Mm. All right, so do you think that animals should have rights protecting them? Yeah. Just not fish? Definitely. Okay, fish. so let's go with the animals that you do think should have rights. So mm. let's talk about cows, chickens, pigs, yeah, sheep, yeah, yeah. Them, right? Do you currently eat them? Yep. So you think they should have rights protecting them? Yeah. At the moment, you pay to violate them rights. Well, it looks like it. All right. So you see the way the book is good. Yeah. By the way, I'm not judging you at all. I yeah. wasn't vegan my whole life. Yeah. But I've got to ask these questions. Ugh. Because you got to come to this this conclusion, right? Because mm -hmm. at the moment we're in that hypocritic state, yeah. Why should we give animals rights? Because they need a say to be stopped treated like that. There is someone, right? Mm. There is someone. They have a subjective experience of their life. Yeah. They have a desire to live. Yeah. Now, why do we put them in slaughterhouses? For us to benefit. To humans, eat them, right? To eat. To eat them for our benefit. Mm. Whether it be to eat them, to bet on them, to use them for medical science. Mm. Do you think any of them mm. are good justifications to put them in them places? No. Uh-huh. Right. Because look at look at that. Uh-huh. I just watched that video, Lod. <laughs> right. It's put me off. Right. Now animals. What's the difference mm. between a fish and a chicken? Um, as I said before, what are we going to eat if we can't eat pigs, cows? Chicken, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna get to that, but I wanna just go this route with me. Yeah. Because we're gonna conclude it all to that point. Yeah. So, what's the moral difference between a chicken and a fish? What's the moral? Yeah, what's the difference? There's no difference. Okay, right. <laughs> okay, so they all deserve the right to live. They Absolutely. all have a desire. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Do we need to eat them? No, we don't need to, but if, uh, there's a want, isn't there? All right, now that's different. For a different taste. Now, uh -huh. now right. So the want to and mm. the need to are really, really different things. Mm -hmm. All right. Now the want to, is that a justification to put no. them in a slaughterhouse? Right. So we don't need to. So we if we don't need to eat animals, what yeah. else can we eat? Plants. Vegetables. All right. Vegetables. Right. I'm sick of some vegetables. My daughter's trying to get me away from me. Right. Ethically, like, is she vegan? No, she isn't, but she's because of the hormones and all the chemicals that they feed into pigs, animals, cows, blah, 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 blah. It's messing up the humans' insides. Right, right, right. So, listen, there's loads and loads of benefits, right? Yeah. To being vegan, health, yeah. environment, all these things. Yes. But these are benefits. Now, we can't focus on that as the mm. catalyst to change. I'll give you an example. Mm. Stay with me with this. Mm. We shouldn't traffic children mm. because it's bad for the environment. That's right. All right, we'd say no, we shouldn't traffic children because we shouldn't traffic children. Right? At all. So we shouldn't put animals in slaughterhouses because... That, well, you shouldn't put animals in slaughterhouses because it's not right. Uh-huh. They should have a say too. All right. But because they verbally can't, it's up to the humans. I've been to slaughterhouses. Yeah. And you know what? You can visually see mm. and they do audibly shout. Mm. But there's a the difference is we just don't understand their language. Yeah. But we can understand their body language. Yeah. You know. Now, you've come to the conclusion that we don't need to, we want to, mm. we don't have to, we shouldn't. Mm. What are you going to do from this point on? Boy, it's put me off of eating any kind of meat. Right. Or fish. Uh huh. Now, what about eggs and dairy? Yeah, it doesn't look good either. Do you think the eggs and dairy are innocent industries as well? No, they're not. No. They're so they're guilty as the cow industry here and all the um, other animals. Yeah, we always think like vegetarians like a, a quick step to stop hurting animals. But the dairy industry and the egg industry, they're really, really exploitive, mm. violent industries. They for are. example, cows produce, do you know why cows produce milk? Um, for us. No, why? you're not a baby cow. 
No, no, I know we're not a baby. I know you shouldn't even bloody... No, it's for us to drink tea. No, you... They produce milk for their babies. I know. We take it. Yeah, I know. But we shouldn't do, right? We shouldn't. No. Eggs, who are the eggs for? Uh, well... Ah, uh, you nearly said you again. I was going to say eggs. <laughs> no, they're not for you. You take it, yeah. but they're not for you. Yeah. All right? They're meant to make baby chickens. All right. So we Chicks. commodify animals. Yeah. We put a price tag on their head. Right, we put don't... numbers in their ears. Yeah. We put a profit margin on their bodies. We shouldn't do it. We shouldn't. We shouldn't. Are you going to continue to do it? I've got to think about it very hardly, no. If you were the victim, and I said to you, I understand your struggle, mm. I understand. Mm. I understand we shouldn't be doing this to you, mm. but I'm going to think about it. I'm going to mm. take my time. <laughs> Would you say, what are you doing? Stop. Stop. Uh huh. I'm going to give you a card and I want you to watch one more documentary when you get home. Oh. It's on there, so the top of that, this website, this oh, website, yeah. right? And you put in Pig 22, mm. it's called Dominion. Mm. Watch that because when you know better, you can do better. Absolutely. All right. Now you got to educate yourself. Mm. Do you think that we should educate ourselves? Definitely. You, yeah? Definitely. Definitely. Okay. All right. Yeah, you, you walk around day to day not realising what they're doing to the animals. Yeah, you're right. We don't look. And we don't really need to eat animals. At all. At all. You got it. And my daughter's right. She's right. She's getting onto the vegetarian. Get her to watch ve vegetarian. Vegetarian. When I say vegetarian, she's not eating meat. But she's eating dairy. She does eat fish. All right. Fish. Eggs. Mm. Oh, you just said to me that these industries are exploitive. They are exploitive. All right, so vegetarian's no good, right? No. It's no better, right? No. Uh-huh. What's the one? Well, what one are you going to be? Pla plants. Vegan. Vegan. Not vegan, vegan. 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 Yeah. Right. I, I, I'm just saying my daughter normally feeds me vegan stuff. Good. Vegan, because vegan is a neutral position still. Yeah. It just means you're not the oppressor anymore. I know. Yeah, you, it's a neutral position. You want to be an activist, you want to come out and be part of the solution, mm. then, do, then do so. The animals, you said earlier, the animals need your voice. Yeah. They're an oppressed victim. They are. They have no one fighting their corner apart from a small you're amount right. of activists. You're right. It's yeah? When you think about it like that, yeah. When you look at any injustice in history, yeah. it's only ever stopped because someone, and yeah. it always starts with a small group, yeah. has stood up and said no. Yeah. No more. Yeah. This is wrong to oppress these people. But you're not going to stop species. them all, are you? Why not? Because how are they going to make their money? Does it matter? No, it doesn't matter to me, but it matters to them because they're obviously used to a budget, yeah? Do you think that we should have kept gas chambers in World War II running because it made the no. Nazis money? No. Okay. But, Do you think that hitmen should still be hired? At least you're making, trying to make a change. We only get massive systemic change yeah. by individuals taking accountability. That's right. These systems are supply and demand systems. That's right. Every time you pay for a fish to have their head cut off, mm. every time you pay for a dairy cow to be raped and a baby's taken, you're, you're perpetuating that system. You remove yourself and then all of a sudden that system starts to crumble. <laughs> it's one of the biggest injustices you can directly I affect know. today. I know. I know, it's one of, yeah, something to really think about. And action on. I hear you. Action today. I hear you. Nice to talk to you. Thank you very much for a good conversation. Oh, Have a good so day. This is online, is it? It should be on YouTube. When you say YouTube, under what? It's Mel and Steve, is our YouTube channel. We're animal rights activists. This is We The Free. This is a animal rights organization. Yeah, but what ch channel is this on? This will be on, it's Mel and Steve. Let me show you. It's Mel and? It's Mel and Steve. That's my wife. Oh, hello, wife. <laughs> hello, wifey. This is our channel here. Yeah. So we go around, you see loads of videos. We go in. Mel. Mel and Steve. Do you know, putting that conversation on there, people will really relate and it will do so much for the animals. And obviously, we need to do something for the animals. We do. We do. Like that. It's, all, it's awful. It's brutal, right? But you know, up until then, you may not have seen that stuff. No. I've never seen it. Well, I've seen snippets well, and yeah. little bits. I'd never seen it. No one had ever sat and explained it to me. I saw, there's a brilliant, on our channel, you'll see another guy, Joey Carmstrong. Okay. Um, he's a, a few of our stuff. And um, he turned us vegan. But watching his channel, and I thought, this guy's making a lot of sense. And then I saw this black and white dairy cow having her neck slashed open. And I, that was it. We were done. How do you save this? Subscribe. See there you go. All right. <laughs> Have a good day. Thank you for talking to me.